I don't know about you, but I think my favorite type of sneaker rotation is a summer one. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. My sneaker collection is growing all the time, so it's always changing. But here's the ones that I already own that I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer. I like to choose simple sneakers that go with anything. So all the sneakers in my collection are really versatile. They are all delicious in my opinion. But then again, I'm biased because they're all mine and I chose them all. So it'd be a bit weird if I was wearing sneakers that I didn't like. But let me know your favorites down in the comments. I'm a UK size nine and I'll let you know what size I picked up in each shoe. However, I would always recommend that you try the shoes on for yourself because everyone's feet are different shapes and sizes. I'll leave links to all of the sneakers in this video down in the description box below. So if anything tickles your fancy, check out the description box. If you do enjoy the video, then please do leave it a like at any point. And now that's all out of the way, let's get into the first sneaker. So the first sneaker that I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer is the Reebok Club C 85. I picked the vintage model up in this shoe because I prefer the off-white colorway the vintage model has, but they do come in a pure white as well. But this shoe is really, really comfortable and it's perfect for casual daily wear. I personally think this shoe works best with a more relaxed fitting trouser, and that's what I tend to wear them with the most. I picked these up in my true size in a size nine and they fit me absolutely perfectly. The next shoe that I'm gonna be wearing a lot is the Mason Margiela replica sneaker. I love the subtle detail on these shoes and I love that gum sole. It adds a bit more interest to the shoe while still keeping that clean and minimal aesthetic. I think these look great when dressed up and they also look great when dressed down as they go with pretty much anything. I like to wear these most when I'm wearing trousers, denim or joggers. I don't really wear these that often with shorts because I think there's better options on the list. But yeah, you can wear them with shorts if you want. The quality on these is amazing though, as you would expect for the price. They last for ages and they look great beaten up. So you do get your money's worth eventually. Most people say that these shoes fit true to size. However, for me, I found that they were quite roomy and half a size down was best for me. Next up, we've got the Chuck Taylor 70s in the low top in the parchment colorway. I will be wearing the high tops too because I do love the high tops. However, in the summer, I love the way the low tops look with a pair of shorts and a pair of white socks. I went true to size in these. They do run a tiny bit long, but I found if I went down half a size, they would be too tight. Anyway, I've got loads of content on the channel about these shoes already, so I'm not gonna talk about them much. You can check out some of those videos if you want more information on them. Next up, we've got a shoe that I wear all year round, but especially in the summer, and that is the Common Projects Achilles Low. I don't actually wear these shoes as much as I used to these days. However, when pairing them with a pair of shorts and a pair of white socks, I think they look absolutely amazing. I've had these shoes for over three years now. I've worn them a lot in all sorts of weather conditions and they still look great. These shoes are very expensive. They cost about 290 pounds. So I know not everyone wants to spend that much on a pair of shoes. So I will leave some more affordable alternatives in the description. I don't want to spend that much on a pair of shoes either, but for me, the alternatives just don't quite do it for me. But it's up to you what you do, it's your money. I sized down a full size with these and after wearing them in, they fit really well. They're one of the cleanest and most minimal shoes out there. They go with everything and I'm really glad that I've got a pair in my rotation. The next pair of shoes are the only high tops on the list and they're the Nike Blazer 77 Vintage. Yes, the low tops would be a better model for the summer, but I don't own the low tops, so I'm showing off the high tops in this video. But these shoes, I think they look great with casual looks and they work really well with trousers and shorts, and I'm gonna be wearing them with both. When I bought this shoe, they didn't have a size nine in stock, so I did try on the eight and a half and they did fit me. However, after long periods of wear, when your feet start to swell up, they do get a little bit tight. They're not the most comfortable shoe out there anyway, but they do look good. And sometimes if you wanna look good, you have to put up with a bit of pain. The next shoe, however, is both comfortable and stylish at the same time, and it's the Nike Air Max 90. Because my model that I've got here have a suede upper, I never wear these in the winter or in the rain, so they're strictly a summer shoe. Although these shoes do go with pretty much anything, I do feel that they work better with certain types of trousers over others that I've got, so I don't wear them as much as others on this list. I went true to size with these and they fit me like a dream. They are very, very comfortable. I designed this particular pair myself using the Nike ID feature on their website, but they are all sale with a gray tick. Next, we're changing things up a bit with a pair of black sneakers and we've got the Adidas Handball Specials. These are my most recent pickup 
and they're a pair of sneakers that I've been wanting for a long time and I absolutely love them. They're a really comfortable shoe and although I haven't worn them a lot yet, they don't feel like they'd need a lot of breaking in. I've got the Sambas as well and the Sambas completely destroyed the back of my heel, but these are a lot softer. I think these shoes work great with anything. I think they look great with baggier trousers, slimmer trousers, shorts, denim, you name it, they work with it. So if I want to break from white sneakers, these are gonna be my go-to. With Adidas, I always find my true size, a size nine, always fits me perfectly, and these are no exception. And the final pair of shoes that I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer are the Nike React Infinity Run 2. And you probably guessed it, they're my running shoe. These have got a wide toe box, so for those of you with wider feet, these might be a great option for you. And I went true to size with these and they fit me great. Now, I haven't had this shoe for that long, probably only about a month now. They were quite firm when I first got them, but they have softened up a bit and I'm really enjoying this shoe. Now these shoes, I chose them purely for cardio, not for their aesthetic. Although for a running shoe, they do look quite nice. But anyway, now I need to take these shoes hit the tarmac and burn some rubber. So I'm gonna finish the video here. If you did enjoy that video, please do give it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya.